Could Rakoff be the first 100x, 1000x token on the Luna Classic chain? Hi guys, it's Rocco here. Welcome back to the channel. Rakoff started off as a meme based on Judge Rakoff on the Luna SEC case. Now guys, Rakoff pumped to 10 million and it's announced that it will be launching Juris Protocol which is a, a fork of the anchor protocol if you guys follow luna one of the main reasons luna went so did so well was anchor protocol that the uh, people using anchor protocol if rakoff can pull it off jewish protocol we can increase tvl rakoff could do really well guys so in this video guys i'll be sharing with you what is rakoff the story behind rakoff my involvement with rakoff more importantly what is rakoff trying to do guys what are they building how is it going to help luna classic chain I'll be sharing with you the latest updates from the founder of LL69, founder of Rakoff LL69, what is happening next. And guys, at the end of the video, I'll be sharing with you my price prediction. We'll look at TVL. So TVL to market cap ratio is a good ratio that you can use to make predictions on a coin. A lot of the big su success factor for Rakoff is going to be when Jewish protocol is launched, how much capital can we attract and, you know, to the to the protocol. If we can have 10, 100 million uh, asset or uh, uh, funds locked in the uh, locked in the uh, Jewish uh, protocol X, the, the, the anchor fork of Rakoff uh, that we're trying to build, then Rakoff could do really well. I'll talk about that at the end of the video. And more importantly, guys, I'll talk about the airdrops of Rakoff. It will be doing an airdrop in Q3. So if you are interested in getting some free tokens, make sure you watch the video till the end. I'll go into a lot of details. I've been talking to the founder of Rakoff and uh, we'll share with you updates on how you can get some airdrop as well at the end of the video. So guys, if you enjoy this content, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. I've been trying to create two videos a week, guys, mainly focus on Luna Classic, but also talk about other projects at uh, Kujira, potentially Rune and other projects that I'm investing. I'm really pushing YouTube again, hoping to get to potentially 50k subscribers by end of the end of the year. If I can share with you big 10x's, 100x, 1000x tokens, I'm sure you can support me in getting to 50k. So if you haven't already subscribed, Subscribe, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button. So guys, let's talk about, a bit about the history of Rakoff. So Rakoff was actually planned uh, for L Lunk Goblin. So Lunk Goblins was a meme coins LL69 thought of and he approached myself and Frag. We had lots of meetings about launching this meme coin. All the marketing that we're seeing with Rakoff, it was planned by LL69, Frag and myself. We talked about launching it as a meme, doing protocol X. LL69 had the idea of forking Anchor Protocol and building this amazing stuff. So we had all planned it. Unfortunately, due to some personal stuff for LL69 and I went traveling it, it became the meme that never got launched. Frag talks about it quite nicely. And Lunk Goblins, he still runs the validator for Lunk Goblins. You can go stake with him. Frag's an amazing person. But yes, yeah, so it wasn't launched, but luckily it turned out even better. It came into Luna Classic or came into this world in the form of Rakoff and it just went absolutely crazy, guys. And you could have bought it. And I said at the start of the video that it, it uh, could this be a 100x, 1000x token? It's already done like a 20,000% and you could have publicly bought it. Lots of coins launch at high FDV and then just keep dumping. Rakoff did it completely opposite. You could have got involved. Unfortunately, I wasn't around. LL69 was messaging me. I didn't get involved uh, until the around here i was in dominican republic when i started talking to him again and then it just went absolutely crazy guys and i started shilling it around here and we did a crazy 10x so i'll talk about the price prediction at the end of the video guys i did post lots of updates and you know sharing you know don't ap in at 10 million market cap 5 million could be a potential uh, support zone we've which we've seen one of the things to point out is guys the ll69 jokes a lot about a uh, uh, rack of being a slow rug but if rack of was a pump and dump like we see it should have done this not just go sideways it just shows the confidence people have in this project so that is a positive again take it with the pinch of salt guys i'm part of the project ll69 says i'm a, one of the co-founders um, i don't know what my role is i guess i'm a marketing guy paid chiller i i you know got some of the supply of tokens again i can dump that it's a lot till six months it's, it's the vesting uh, for the team as ll69 has said it's just I'm, I'm being completely transparent guys i'm part of the team i speak to him almost every day messages here and there and uh, whole spaces and, and all that good stuff so i will be really bullish on the project that i'm working on but I'll be, I'll be sharing with you the information try to be unbiased and use this information to come to your own conclusion but if you've been following me for four or five years, I'm, I'm always very transparent. So guys, Rakov launched as a meme coin, like I've said. 
Um, so it just talks about the the commission, the 100% if you're staking, 100% rack off buyback and burns, the vision, rack off will melt faces, Danny Demi DeFi is part of the projects, and maybe I can talk a bit about the team members. So, you know, LL69 is the founder, Frag's the co-founder, you could call me a marketing guy, co-founder, or, you know, what, whatever you want to call it, I'll let LL69 um, give me a title when the doc documentations come out. There's a red line, I've got a post from him, he's building a lot of the MMs, he's part of the team. Um, um, there's ed ed is part of the ed is not part of the team sorry but he's i think he's like more than a co-founder like especially with what he's doing with jewish protocol go give him a follow guys again i get a lot of information from his youtube channel go follow him guys he's another a really good guy uh, to follow for Rakoff and Luna Classic is a really uh, respectable guy in the cryptocurrency. So there's a big team out there as well. So it's not just, you know, LL69 Frag. There's a big team and they're hiring a dev as well, which uh, I'll, I'll talk about later in the video uh, of the dev that's been hired to to build the Anchor Protocol for Jewish Protocol Protocol X. So that's how it got launched. Judge Rakoff is a meme, like I said. It's a Luna uh, SEC judge. That's how it all started. And now it's just become its own thing. And, and even LL69 said didn't really expect it to go that well it just went i mean we hope we were expecting it to do well but no one thought it would do this well this quickly so rack off a tiny bit of protocol x i mentioned it was as a meme then we started hyping up the protocol x protocol x we, we weren't really telling what protocol x was we kept it hidden and it just helped get a lot of engagement and we were drip fitting slowly slowly what rack off protocol was going to be what protocol x was going to be and then we were still posting updates guys so i've been posting updates on um rack off if you guys want this weekly update i think the official account is going to start doing that but i'll try to maybe make a monthly update of, of what's been happening with rack off uh, mm uh, work is being done so redline is doing a, a lot of the work with mm so redline will be uh doing that work it will help with exchange listing and um, you could you know you have to pay usually exchanges for doing the market making if redline uh, can help us you save some money you could also help with arbing as well so rakoff is listed on a few different exchanges it's on bnb i think it's on osmosis as well i was planning to get it on solana uh, when rakoff was a meme so you could do some arbing as well that's a potential trading opportunity if you guys uh, want to get involved with that so i've been posting updates on this and since that meme hype, the protocol X hype, it's just been going sideways. And can I come to the price prediction at the end? We see usually after huge pumps like this, projects usually go sideways. But I want to focus on this here, guys, the benefit of protocol X. So protocol X will actually not only benefit Rakoff holders, it will benefit Luna Classic as well. So 50% will be distributed to governance pool for Rakoff stakers. 35% will be generated to Rakoff team LPs delegators. And Rakoff delegators will also receive an airdrop, which I'll come on to at the end. And, and for Treasury, 15%, so 15% of the revenue generated from the lending borrowing protocol will go to the Lunk, Oracle and community pools. If you guys follow me, I talk a lot about burns, but another massive issue with Luna Classic is depleting Oracle and uh, community pool funds. So so uh, Rakoff, if Rakoff is successful, it will really help with this. This is a really good chart. I forgot who did it. I did tag him. You can go check below. Oh, sorry. I did tag him. Whisper created this little nice chart. And then uh, we got to thank him for what he's done because... Um, is a really clear so if you guys like myself you like to visualize stuff just visualize it really nicely at uh, what rakoff will do so that is a massive benefit for luna classic benefit for rakoff so a lot of tokens out there get created do not actually accrue value rakoff stakers does actually accrue value through the dow and the, the revenue that's generated from the protocol and for this to work it all comes down to the tvl could rakoff generate a lot of tvl and and i think when we come on to the price that will be the main determining factor hype yes meme the vibes shilling you know i'll probably get in more involved with that will help but one of the key things that will really help rakoff do well is can we attract tvl so will people ape into the project i did this uh, quick elevator pitch you can go listen to it maybe i'll post a link uh, below the youtube video where i talk about that how like the rack of Jewish protocol will work. So basically you can invest some money. So let's say you have $500 or $100. You can uh, borrow against it, deposit it and borrow against it again. So you can basically take a leverage bet on this. If you believe the loan price or rack of price will go up, you could basically uh, loop it similar to what we could do and basically take, you know, take leverage bets. It's like uh, taking a long on, less, uh, on leverage on Binance or on exchange. You can do that on Jewish protocols. That's just one of the aspects, guys. There's going to be lots more 
features, lots more assets are going to be whitelisted initially. You know, Lung, Rakoff, maybe USTC Terra. There'll be more assets that come into Juris Protocol as well. So this is just the start. Uh, go listen to this uh, elevator page. I'm just giving you a quick summary of uh, what I said. But, you know, this is just quite very, very bullish. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about about trading is, guys, um, people, you know, buying, you know, buying high and selling low is not really a trading strategy. We talk about it a lot. But if you just go onto the Rakoff chart and see some of the smaller traders, a lot of people are doing it, guys. They even like buy here and sell here. Like, what is the logic for you to do that, guys? You know, understand how V2 pools, you know, are AMM. It's not the same as order books. Every single buy and sell will shift the price. So, you know, don't just, you know, move around and you could just lose money if you believe in the project. And again, I'm, I've been completely transparent. I'm part of the project. Uh, but, you know, just if you believe in it, buy the dips, buy 50% sell offs. So we've had so many dips you could have made money on that you know uh, myself ed uh, ll69 we post about some of these dips and the these dips dips are being eaten up which is quite bullish for the project so yeah that's just you know wanted to uh, point that out there and go follow redline as well he's part of the team and he also hosts a lot of the spaces so me and ll69 do a weekly spaces on luna classic you talk about rack off other projects as well and i'm really pushing guys uh, meme coins on luna classic if i can't get enough attention go you know like and retweet some of the meme coins that i've been sharing go support the meme coin projects and um, if we can drive up the value in in in, in luna classic we've seen it with solana you know we're burning through utilities the way forward and i also support terra casino maybe i'll make a terra casino video because all these are burning luna classic we need to not just depend on binance if you want to succeed we want to be building like what rakoff is doing what terra casino is doing what garuda universe and other projects are doing there's cookies there's um david there's lots of people that are building that's how we can succeed guys so i'm really pushing that guys come support me as well like retweet this video go check out some of the meme coins go follow and like those pages as well um so yeah this is just an update um from from rakoff that he wasn't expecting this to go so well and so quick so he's trying to uh, sort out all like the corporate balance sheet how the tax works and the legal side of things and those are not fun those are things that he needs to do so that's what he's working on now um I think the final update you'll see that he's uh, posted here is that um, you, you, you don't really know what, what's coming for Rakoff. He's got a, a, a Devco LLC uh, deals uh, signed with Dev and investors. We apply for Jewish uh, protocol funding with uh, with Binance and other players and foundations first, though. Tax consulting meeting in two days. So that's the key bit. Go. We wish him luck. If that tax consulting meeting goes well, he can sort out all the legal stuff and focus on building pay the dev, start building Jewish protocol pay for funding. Uh, there's you know other foundation, other players that he can speak to. He can... You you know, um, get more funds raised, build Jewish protocol, speak to other players, speak to other chains as, you know, I can support with that as well, like reaching to other communities, reaching to other, you know, collaborating with other you know, Cosmos chains. So there's lots we can do. We just need to sort that legal stuff. So that's the latest update, I guess, where we where we are with the Rakoff token, guys. So we wish him luck. Hopefully he can do it. He's also setting up like the the governance uh, of how it will work, and you can he's posted it on his Twitter. You can go check it out. So there's the project marketing, the operations. They're having weekly, bi-weekly meetings. So there's lots of things that are going on and um, that he's trying to do. You can see one of the messages that's come up. Maybe that leaks a bit of alpha. If you guys can read it, let me hide that, guys, because you don't need to see that. Uh, a leak come out but hey you can see that leak come out if you have so that's really a lot of the ongoing stuff that are going some things are blocked some things that needs to progress a lot of it does depend on the legal stuff once the legal stuff is sorted we can go full steam and you know i, I shared some sort of bullish hopium with you guys we can talk about the bullish stuff but the key thing is getting over the legal stuff pay the dev start building jewish protocol and then we can progress if you want to stay up to date with the latest news guys do join us on the spaces again check out my twitter um, our rack off twitter we do post and do spaces every week for really transparent updates uh, ll 6 Nines has been very transparent with his uh, and the Rakoff token wallets as well so you can go track that a lot of projects don't do that they say oh you're slow rugging it if you want to trust a project go check that out as well so that's the quick update guys hope you guys enjoyed it now let's talk about the airdrop then we'll do my price prediction to end the video so airdrop guys simply if you want airdrop 
go stake with the Rakov validator. If you don't know how to stake Luna Classic, there's a video for it. Go stake with the Rakov validator, guys. Um, and you could start potentially earning. And if you want to, guys, if you want to earn a bit more, what you could do is you could stake with a few different validators. So I think uh, you need to at least the minimum staking is 1 million. So if you if you want to stake 1 million, you could potentially have 10 wallets and stake with 1 million, 10 wallets each. And you could potentially, uh, you know, airdrop from um, I've done it with few coins. If you're interested in that, you could do it. If you just want to support Rakoff token, what you can do is go stake your uh, Luna Classic Lunk with the Rakoff validator, gain some um, um, Rakoff airdrop tokens. Also, the 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 rewards are, are used to burn Rakoff that helps with the Rakoff price. There's lots of ways you can help as well, guys. This is a community project. We need all your help to succeed. So that's one thing that you can do very simply. Uh, go stake your Lunk with Rakoff. The, the rewards gets burned. You get some Rakoff airdrop. If you want to support us even more, like, retweet, follow some of the people that I mentioned. Share this video, guys. If you want to help us even more, add liquidity. That's actually going to be my next video of how adding liquidity uh, to the Rakoff Lunk pair or any other Rakoff pairs can really help a project. We want to grow the liquidity to 100k. So that's one of the big things that I'm going to push as well. So I'm going to make a video if you don't know how to do that, that can really help the project and you can earn some money as well. There is risk for in impermanent loss, but that can really help the project out. So I'll be making videos on that, on that going forward. So that's those are some of the things that you can do. And if you want to help Rakoff, reach out to me, reach out to LL69 and share your ideas. We are all ears. We're trying to build something amazing and we need the whole community to support us guys so guys that's pretty much the video let's talk about the price prediction before i uh, start uh, before i end the video so guys one of the things i talked about in my uh, post on Rakoff was this six million market cap so once a uh, bitcoin went to 20k and this is we see this chart many times this price goes parabolic and then we just people start taking profits activity goes down and that's how Ra that's how Rakoff feels we went absolutely crazy we talked about meme protocol x our, our start our shilling it and, and all this good stuff and now the price is just waiting and i think what they're waiting is potentially to see how rakoff protocol looks the pro jewish protocol looks if jewish protocol is being built it looks amazing looks like it's going to have a lot of tvo then i'd expect the price to start going up ed already said he expects the price to go to i think he said not 0.0003 level and that could be potentially a level so if you want to buy maybe it depends on your bullishness guys if you think that a jewish protocol is going to be a huge success tv is going to go up and if you've got ten thousand dollars to invest maybe put two thousand now if it dips buy some more and then apin i mean if it comes around here guys i mean i'm a very risk averse if you follow me i'm a very risk averse and i'm you know got some team tokens anyway but i'll be bidding here heavily because i think if it gets us i don't think it will stay there that long if it does it will just be like a spike but those are, those are some levels so you know start buying the dip guys i don't think it will go to go that low maybe we get a spike like this if the whole bitcoin and luna classic dumps but I'd expect, you know, a bit uh, um, a rack off to just slowly bleed, similar to what we saw in Bitcoin, maybe get a sell off like we did. And then hopefully we can get the price up. One of the other things to talk about is, guys, rack off is trading against Lunk. So if the Lunk price goes up, if we can push rack off and not just rack off, there's other projects as well. Terraport, uh, Terraport, Terra Civita, Garuda, lots of amazing validators. If Luna Classic could do, do a 10x, it will mean that you've not only doubled your money or, you know, made money on rack off going up you make money on luna classic going up as well so fingers crossed rakoff can do well luna classic can do well but in terms of price prediction guys it really depends on what the tvl is going to be if we look at the market cap to tvl ratio so there's one example that we can look is lido so lido's tvl is 32 billion but the market cap is around 2 billion so you could say that is a ratio we could look at um, some people, uh, a simple argument that people use is protocols with TVO ratios above one are overvalued. Protocols with TVO ratio under one is undervalued. If you look at Aave, Aave has got 1.4 billion market cap, but the TVL is around 12 billion. So it's not 0 0.01, not 0.1 percent. If you, if you want to say the TVO ratio, so if you want to talk about the TVL in 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 Rakoff, if Rakoff can get to 100 million TVL, Rakoff market cap could be 
be 50 million um or if you, if you call it 0.5 if you call it one to one and again it, it's not a absolute science guys it, it what a simple guideline is ratio above one is overvalued under uh, under one is undervalued so if you call it half that's pessimistic if i can chill if i do my job well if you guys love my youtube channel if i'm a lot more popular on uh, twitter and youtube channel ed and uh, frag and other l6 and our twitter following goes and we can chill it well build a narrative Lunk's doing well other other uh, exchanges are supporting Rakov, then we could potentially hit that one to one and could we hit 100 million market cap i'll end it on this note guys so for me i thought successful lung goblins was 10 million market cap successful uh l069 was 1 billion market cap and i think frag was around 100 so you can i'll let you guys sort of decide what you think the future price of Rakov could be in the market cap terms but those were some of the predictions i was happy to just to hit 10 mil a uh, frag i think said like 50 to 100 mil whereas like l069 went for the vision entrepreneurial goal and he was saying that let's go for rack off to 1 billion so that's the video guys hope you guys enjoyed it hope i've done a good job explaining to you what rack off is if you have any questions guys just comment below i read and reply to every comment it, you can reach out to me on twitter as well or uh, reach out to rack off l069 frag we'll try and help you guys out before i end the video what is your price prediction what price do you think rack off can go to comment below your price prediction for rack off and thank you very much for watching this video thank you guys guys.